Kiev was so garlicky. Why did you eat it so fast? Uh, I'm late. I, I promised I'd meet Clive at the Hare and Hounds at eight. Clive Watson? Yeah. Oh, but you promised not to go out with him again after that party with the kissogram. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know. But 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 he rang me out of the blue at work today in a, in a terrible state. His wife's walked out on him. Oh, I'm not surprised. He was distraught, Margaret. I've never heard him like that. I, I think he needs a shoulder to cry on. Will you come with me? You're joking. Oh, but I'm terrible when people are upset. I, I just make them feel worse. Look, I, I don't want a late night. I've got to be up early to meet that new student I told you about. Oh, yeah. Couldn't you just come for an hour? No. Anyway, I can't stand Clive. He's an alcoholic Neanderthal. <coughs> See the match this afternoon, mate. About that. Clive, me old mate, sir. Uh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, right. <coughs> and a tremendous little move by the Russian. Just look at that technique. Yes, Katerina Spukchov is proving to be the darling of this competition. Oh, and look at that forward roll. Delightful. And there she is, skipping around like a little pixie. Yes, uh, a pixie throwing a large ball. And there's her coach, Alexei Mironov. He's got to be feeling very good about himself today. Yes, Alexei is not only her trainer, but also her confidant and personal advisor. Apparently, he handles all her financial affairs mm, as well. Yes. Oh, my God, look at that. She's just oh fallen dear. over. She's really made a pig's ear of it now, and her trainer is not looking pleased at all. Big disappointment. I'm old enough to be his father. Well, almost. Well, you know, I mean, it could just be a little fling. No, 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 no. She's taking the porcelain figurine of Princess Diana. I mean, we bought that jointly as an investment for our old age. Oh, dear. She's even taken custody of her dog. You can't trust women, Bob. They're an altogether different sex. <laughs> right. Well, well, that's true. Same again. Why not? I've got nothing to live for. Sorry about the bit of mess. Uh, we'll clear it up. Oh, what time is it? Oh, it stinks like an open sewer in here. Is it? Uh, Bob. Uh, Margaret, will you bring me a couple of paracetamol? Oh, get me yourself. I'm going to have a shower and then I have to leave. She's walking out on you, Bob. Just like they all do. Edith, there's a bomb scare on the northern line again. You've got a visitor. Ooh, oh, oh. Uh, you, hello. You must be Nathan. Yes, hello. Uh, very nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, would you like to come through to my surgery? Uh, oh, yeah, yes, thank you. Oh, thank you. What about your post? I'll bring it. Chilly morning, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yes, very chilly. I sometimes envy shopkeepers who live above their shops. It must make life so much easier, don't you think? <laughs> yes, yes, it must. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, this is the first time I've had a student, so, so if there's anything you're not sure about, just let me know. It's such a privilege to be working with you, Mrs Fish. I've been so excited about it all week. Oh, good. Uh, just call me Margaret. I haven't slept a wink. Oh, <laughs> I'll start by going through the patient list uh, and um, I'll explain a little about each of them and their condition. I'm a big fan. Oh, that's nice. Um, good to have someone that's keen. I was wondering, w would you sign my insole? You were a saviour last night, Bob. A real lifesaver. Uh, uh, yeah. I was on the edge, mate. Right on the edge. And you, you brought me back. I'll never forget you for that, Bob. Uh, that, uh, that's, that's good, yeah. Never. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to get moving, uh, otherwise I'll be late for work. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a lift home if you like. You, you still live in Cambridge Gardens? Sort of. Bob, mate, there's a bit of a problem. What's that? I don't live there anymore. You see, Deborah didn't actually leave me. She kicked me out. What? After what she did to you? That's terrible. I know. So, so where are you staying? I don't know. I don't have anywhere. I was, well, I was hoping you might let me stay here a bit. Ah, uh, well, um... Just till I get back on my feet, you know. I mean, I won't be any trouble. Please, mate. Oh, uh, well, well, I suppose... Thanks, uh, Bob. You're a true friend. Mrs Peterson, I hope you don't mind if there's a student present. Oh, no. What a lovely young man. So, Nathan, I'd like you to do a quick examination of Mrs. Peterson uh, and then give me a diagnosis. Uh, well, um, the skin seems quite red and uh, flaky, especially between the fourth and fifth toes. Oh, what soft hands. Any other clues? Um, the, the smell? Yes. Uh, and what did the patient complain of? Itching. Very good. Uh, so what does that tell us? Um... What's it likely to be? Um, come on, love. I haven't got all day. I'm... I... Uh... He hasn't a clue. Too busy going to rave parties and sniffing glue. I don't know. It's all right, Nathan. Oh. It's all right. But I've got my final exams in two weeks. I should know this. Come on, you do know it. <laughs> um, flaky skin, uh, itchiness. I just can't remember. Ass. Athletes... Fist! Foot! Athlete's foot! Oh, God, of course, I'm such an idiot! Oh, you're not an idiot, Nathan. Look, you can do it. If you study hard and you're truly dedicated, you'll get through. But I am, Mrs Fish, I am. I don't know what I'll do if I can't treat feet. It is all I live for. Oh, there, there. Well, you're so lovely, Mrs Fish. So patient and wise. Mr Fish is so lucky to be married to a wonderful woman like you. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, Deborah was a fantastic cook. I've got to tell you, she could really handle a piece of meat. You know what I mean? <laughs> the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Bob, I'm back. Sorry I'm late. I got caught at the... Surgery. Look, we, uh, we made you dinner. <laughs> I'm not hungry, thank you. Margaret? Bit upside your missus and she. <clears throat> Margaret, why are you so angry? What was I supposed to do? Why didn't you ask me first? Well, you weren't here. It was an awkward situation. I could hardly throw him out on the street. He's really upset. He, he might be suicidal. <sighs> well, how long's he staying? I don't know. What? You haven't even asked well, him? Well, until he finds somewhere else. And how long's that gonna be? Uh, I, I don't know. But, but look, he, he needs us, Margaret. He's had his heart ripped apart, he's in agony, and he's turned to us for support. Oh, it just would have been nice to be asked, that's all. <sighs> night, night, then. Night. Morning, Margaret. Uh, oh, excuse me. Better an empty house than an angry tenant. Don't want to spill any, do we? <gasps> You're looking nice today, Margaret. Thank you. Very nice. You'll be turning heads in that surgery of yours. I'm sure you turn heads every day, don't you, Margaret? Uh, excuse me, I, I must dash. Hey, you're leaving early. I, I promised Nathan I'd go through his revision notes before the patients arrived. Nathan? My student. He's got his finals in a month and I want him to pass. Oh, I see. Bye, then. Very generous with her time, your missus. Me yeah. Very generous. Home late last night, into work early today. 
you sure there's nothing going on there? Don't, don't be so ridiculous. Margaret's old enough to be his mother. Well, they didn't stop my Deborah. Well, well, Margaret's different. Oh, they're all the same, Bob. Animals at heart with animal needs and animal desires. <coughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, Margaret would never even look at another man. <coughs> yeah, right. So I didn't go to bed. I just stayed up until I'd read the whole book. Oh, I didn't expect you to get through it all in one night. Mm-hmm. And I looked up Mrs. Peterson's condition, tineapodis. That's the Latin name. Yes, and, and what would you prescribe for it? Oh, um, amputation? <sighs> Antifungal cream. Yes, of course. Damn, sorry. That's OK, Nathan. You're doing fine. You're looking very nice today, Mrs. Fish. That's a very pretty outfit. Oh, thank you, Nathan. Uh, that's very sweet of you to say. Dr. Fish, there's a weird man hanging round reception. Weird man? Fat and ugly. Oh, that's Clive. Um, keep him occupied till I've finished, will you? <sighs> so, what's a gorgeous girl like you doing in a place like this? Earning a living. What's an ugly fat pig uh... like you doing here? <laughs> Good one! I like it. Sharp girl. How's about a drink, then? Or dinner? I oh, know a lovely little Italian. Well, take her instead. Ooh, ouch. That's a slap in the face, me thinks. No, that's a slap in the face. Watching you treat that bunion this afternoon was a revelation. I just wish the placement was longer. All good things must come to an end. Well, actually, I, I was wondering, would it be possible to stay on an extra week? Oh, I... Oh, if it's a problem, don't worry. Um... You've already done more than enough for me, and I can only thank you. In fact, no, no, I'm clearly overstaying my welcome, and I'm, I'm sorry to trouble you. No, no, uh, next week would be fine. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, and I was wondering, if it's at all possible, could I carry out a treatment myself? I mean, under your supervision, of course. Oh, you couldn't do that. Even a simple one? A massage? Uh, it's not that, it... It's insurance. Oh, I see. It's nothing to do with you. It's just the policy. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm not up to it, am I? Maybe I'm not suited to podiatry. No, no. You're an excellent student. You're keen, you're punctual. <sighs> Look, later in the week, I'll let you do some work on my feet. Really? Can I do it now? Oh, oh no, my, my husband's expecting me home. My husband and his friend. It won't take long, please. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, I see. Well, well, what time do you think you'll be finished? Oh, really? OK, no, no, we'll, uh, we'll get a takeaway. Yeah, bye. <clears throat> yeah, that was Margaret. She's going to be a bit late. Uh, looks like we'll have to fend for ourselves again tonight, mate. Giving some more extra lessons, is she? Uh, something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Call me a cynical old bastard if you like, but if my missus was staying late at work to give tuition to a 22-year-old male student... Clive, has it ever struck you that your personal experience may not be representative of the entire human race? <laughs> Look, mate, you've got to learn to trust again. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got to make you laugh, mate. You telling me about trust while your bird's fiddling around with some schoolboy. <laughs> Ooh, uh, a, a bit less emphasis on the arch, Nathan. Ooh. Uh, and you're rubbing a bit too fast. I'm just going. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs Fish. I'm... I'm just a bit nervous. Uh, uh, just try and relax. I'm sorry. How's this? Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, that's a lot better. And this? Oh, that's wonderful. I was reading that book you gave me last night about alternative therapy. It said how different areas of the feet relate to other parts of the body. For example, the heel is linked to the shoulders. So when I rub here... Oh, yes, that's, that's very relaxing. And the big toe is linked to the stomach. Hmm... That feels very nice. You're supposed to feel it cleansing inside you, mm. like a kind of warm breeze rushing through your body. Mm. And the other major area is the instep. 
right here. Oh, that's, that's, oh, Just relax. That's, that's really Feel my hands moving around you. Gently, moving round and round. Deep inside. <sighs> what part of the body is he in step linked to? The genitals. <gasps> Wilson, what the time did Margaret say she'd be back? Um, uh, about nine. Well, it's a bit tight, but how's about we call out a couple of lady friends? They're very quick, very discreet, eh? What? Oh, that, that's ridiculous. Well, why not? Look, Clive, in, in the long term, that, 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 that sort of thing is only going to make you feel worse. I don't care about the long term anymore, Bob. From now on, I'm living only for the moment. And if you want my advice, you should do the same. You never know what's round the corner. Lovely move from Margaret Fish. I haven't seen her in such good form since 78. Yeah, she's approaching the stream now. Well, let's see what she's going to do with this. A mm, bit cautious there. She's seen the young man, but she's clearly not ready for any action. Yes, I agree with you, Brian. She's, uh, she's looking very unsure. Oh, my. Oh, yes, look at that. She's going for him. Oh dear, and there's her husband. Oh, he's not looking pleased at all. Big disappointment. <laughs> Someone in the crowd, they're laughing. Very childish. What? You, you look so peaceful. I didn't want to wake you. Oh, oh it's late. I, I need to get back to Bob. You've been so kind. Can I give you a lift home? Here. Your, uh, your dogs are acting a bit strange out there. You might want to check it out, mate. Uh. Hey, hey, oh, Elizabeth, William, stop it. Your mummy will be home soon. What is it? What, what's, what, what the? What's this? I knew it. What did I tell you? What? 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 Well, there's bound to be a, a, a simple explanation. Men's underpants in her pocket, smell of aftershave on her collar. Stop being so bloody blind, mate. Read the writing on the wall. No, no, this, this, this is impossible. Oh, look. There you go. Your missus has just pulled up outside in some pretty boy's car. And they don't half look friendly. For the lift. I I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mrs. Fish. It's only been a couple of days, yes, I've learned so much. Hey, hey, Bob! What do you think you're playing at? Bob! On my own doorstep. How dare you? Bob! We were a happily married couple till you came along. I was only giving her a lift home. Oh, don't give me that rubbish. I know your game. Late night studying. You've seduced her, haven't you? What are you talking about? I am talking about these. Found them in your coat pocket. Well, they're not mine. Oh, really? So whose are they, then? The Clives. Clives? I'd recognise those hideous things anywhere. I've been picking them up off the floor all week. I would never wear stained underpants. Oh, look at that movie! Passes a camel! Camel's in the right place at the right time! And he shoots! Oh, and he misses a... All right, mate. Got us sorted. Here's your underpants back. Oh! Hey? You put them in Margaret's pocket, didn't you? I'm sorry, Bob. I'm so sorry. I've just been so depressed. <laughs> oh, stop making pathetic excuses. It's no wonder your wife cheated on you. <laughs> she didn't cheat on me. What? Well, 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 what do you mean? She caught me sleeping with another woman. <laughs> You've been lying to me, and then you try and break up me and Margaret. <laughs> oh, I was jealous. <laughs> I mean, the two of you, you're just too good to be true. I thought relationships like yours only existed in children's storybooks and Hollywood movies. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm sorry, Nathan. Don't worry. It's normal for middle-aged men to experience insecurity. I read about it at college. I just can't believe he didn't trust me. Well, it's just a misunderstanding. That's all, isn't it? Good night, Nathan. I think it might be better if we keep to the original plan. What do you mean? Well, I'm very busy next week. I think we should make today your last day. There's, there's so much more I want to learn. 
Goodbye, Nathan. See you later, darling. Oh. I'm sorry, Margaret. I I've behaved like a complete idiot, and, I and I I'm really sorry. I, I never should have let that animal into the house. He he he's not even house trained. Would I just stand there, say something, anything, yell at me, hit me, tell me how ridiculous I've been for not trusting you? Do you fancy some microwave popcorn? Yes. Yes, I do. Uh, I'd love some microwave popcorn. Ah. Uh -huh.